interacting with the mineral world, mm -hmm. the spirit world, the yang, the yin, and converting it and doing the alchemy to create what it needs to create. Whether it's a food source, whether it's going to be a, a source of nitrogen for another plant, a support source, a, a predator, a tractor, whatever. Every plant has got more than one use, and we've just got no concept actually of how much is out there that is doing what it's doing. We've got no idea. Who's got a shiver? We've got no idea. And, and that's, you know, we really, we really need to go into that space with it. That we are actually just subservient to, there's so much knowledge out there that we have absolutely no idea about. And um, the, 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 the more we can just go out there and, and do the observing, the better we're going to understand how it works. That everything is supporting and connected to each other. Everything. Okay, so we're going to be planting the edges with plants like bananas. I've got these amazing exotic, exotic plants are really wonderful mm. to use in the right places. Because I've got this amazing exotic yarrow with a big leaf. Mm. What does that tell me? An exotic yarrow. An exotic yarrow. What does it tell me if it's got a huge, big, fat leaf like that? Shave. Huh? Shave. It usually likes a fair bit of shave. It'll catch water. Mm. Amazing umbrellas. Mm. Absolutely amazing. What else is it doing? Keep the weeds up. Oh, unwanted plants up from the <laughs> Yeah, it's creating a lot of shade. Mm -hmm. What do all plants want to do? Yeah, that's the sun. Reach the line. Okay? So we're going to be planting a few of them. I couldn't get too many yesterday, but I'll be getting some more. Yargo? Huh? Yarrow. 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 But in permaculture, we don't just see a plant as it's just a, an exotic taro. We're going to be using it as mulch. It's going to be the edge plant that's going to be keeping the forest a bit at bay, so shading out small grasses. Okay? And it looks beautiful and lush. They look amazing. Is that? I'll show you the plant anyway. And we're, we're going to have to get them in the ground because they do. Um, they're all suffering. I just pulled them out of the ground yesterday on a big plant run. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I went shopping yesterday afternoon. <laughs> the back of the truck and my tools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that about this island. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. it's wild just the best. Huh? Wildcraft, whatever you want. Yeah, wildcrafting. Okay, so we're going to be planting the edge down there, and we're going to be planting clumps of ginger, mm -hmm. simply to bring the colour, because coconuts do take a while to grow. Mm -hmm. It's not there's going to be an instant garden happening there. So we don't want the grass, we want to be planting things that are, it's called stacking in time. They're going to be doing jobs until the, the other things are ready to provide what they're going to be providing for us. But we're going to be doing it in a pattern. We're not going to be planting, um, I need the pen again. We're not going to be planting the coconuts up the driveway like this, are we? Everyone got their measuring tape exactly the same distance apart? <laughs> hey, we're not doing that anymore, are we? No. We're going to do it in patterns. What's the most, in, what's the, what's spiral. the, spiral, 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 spiral. coconut? Yeah. Can work. Groups. Definitely groups. Snakes. Snakes? Not too bad. Okay, so how do we decide? How do we decide which pattern is the most appropriate for each plant? According to the landscape. Landscape? Watering? It's shape. It's shape. The pattern of the layout of the whole land. Pattern the layout of the whole land, all these things will determine it. I could, I could decide I'm going to put them in a tetrahedron, um, you know, <laughs> triangle because I love that pattern, but it's not actually going to work for that plant. Okay, so it is, it's actually matching the pattern to the pattern of the plant, but not only the pattern of the plant, but the pattern of harvesting, the pattern of fertilizing. Harvesting is really important with coconuts, they're not the easiest to harvest. And they also drop. They also drop, but yeah, they usually get harvested before but they drop. But when they drop, yeah. they're already... Yeah.